Ukraine has run out of missiles for Patriot and Iris T air defense systems. Build. Build journalist Julian Robka, who has been following the fighting in Ukraine, says that Ukraine has run out of missiles for the Patriot and Iris T air defense systems. Robka said he had warned about this a few weeks ago. Ukraine has run out of Patriot and Iris T missiles. Also, most of the stocks of air defense means are depleted or destroyed, he wrote. Robka added that Western countries have hundreds of systems and thousands of missiles that Ukraine needs in their warehouses. Robka later tweeted, I would rather not say Ukraine has zero Patriot missiles, adding that a source had told him the current number two weeks ago. I won't reveal it, of course, but the number was so small, it must be close to nothing now, he wrote. To clarify, I would rather not say Ukraine has zero Patriot Pac-2 and Pac-3 missiles. A source told me the alleged exact current number two weeks ago. I won't reveal it, of course. But the number was so small it must be close to nothing now, he added. He noted that as US military aid to Ukraine has stalled, Western countries have ample reserves of Patriot launchers and interceptor missiles. This while we have hundreds of systems and thousands of missiles in our depots. Robka added, in recent weeks, Ukrainian government and military officials have repeatedly said that Kyiv's most pressing need is for additional air defense equipment as Russia has massively escalated its airstrikes on Ukraine's power grid. Meanwhile, the head of the Ukrainian foreign ministry, Dmitry Kuleba, demanded that NATO provide the Ukrainian armed forces with the air defense systems available to the alliance countries. According to Kuleba, it is not possible to achieve such supplies through requests and therefore he intends to move on to strict demands. The Ukrainian diplomat said his team has counted about 100 Patriot systems scattered across the European Union and wonders why NATO refuses to share them with Ukraine. Ukraine reveals interesting fact about burned Russian Serpukov ship in Baltic. The Russian Serpukov missile ship, which was put out of action in the Baltic Sea, was considered for transfer to the Black Sea because of the loss of part of the Black Sea fleet. This was stated by the representative of the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence, Andriy Yusov, reports Radio Liberty. Given the loss of the Black Sea Fleet, such compensation scenarios are being considered by the enemy. But the transfer of vessels is quite difficult. It is clear that Turkey does not let warships through. Other ways logistically exist, but they are complicated and long, he said. According to him, the fact that the ship burned out means that the vessel remains afloat, but the modern technological equipment is out of order, damaged, and it takes a long time to repair the ship. There are no safe places for military facilities on Russian territory, the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence spokesman added. In any case, the expansion of the actual war theater for the Russian fleets is good news, said Yusov. Recall, the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine reported that the Russian Serpukov missile ship was put out of action as a result of a fire on April the 7th. The intelligence specified that the fire completely destroyed the ship's communication and automation equipment. The incident took place at the Baltisk naval base in Russia's Kaliningrad region. This ship is only more than 10 years old, but during this time it was part of first the Black Sea Fleet and then the Baltic Fleet and also participated in various military exercises. According to preliminary data, the fire occurred on the ship while it was at the Baltisk naval base in Russia's Kaliningrad region. The causes of the fire on the Serpukov have not yet been disclosed. However, sources noted that the fire on the ship was a successful operation of the main intelligence directorate of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry. Later, the Defense Ministry's intelligence confirmed the successful operation, noting that as a result of the fire inside the missile ship, its communication and automation equipment was completely destroyed. Russian soldier, Moscow hiding war deaths to avoid paying families. Moscow is purportedly neglecting to alert family members after a soldier dies in the war with Ukraine to avoid compensating the servicemen's loved ones, according to a phone call intercepted by Ukraine's military intelligence. In a telephone conversation posted to Telegram by Ukraine's military intelligence, a Russian soldier can be heard saying that the Kremlin has been listing deceased fighters as missing rather than dead to avoid paying compensation. I say it's beneficial for you to tell me he is not missing, so you don't have to pay him. You know, we haven't heard from him for a month and a half. The soldier says during the phone call, according to a translation of the call provided by the Kyiv Post. The Ukraine's military intelligence added in its post 
there will be just retribution for every war crime committed against Ukraine. According to Newsweek, reports have previously surfaced that Russia was finding ways to avoid delivering on its promise to compensate families of its soldiers killed in war. Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a decree in January 2023 promising to pay beneficiaries of deceased servicemen 5 million rubles or $53,800. Troops who are injured on the battlefield qualify for a payment of 3 million rubles or $32,280. In June 2023, the mother of a Russian soldier, Mikhail Cherkasov, told Radio Liberty that she had been told by Cherkasov's comrades that her son had been killed at war earlier that month. However, Russia's military reportedly ordered to leave Cherkasov's body on the battlefield because it would not be profitable to bring him home. Independent Russian investigative outlet Mozem Obyasnit said in a report published in December that another Russian soldier who had been severely injured along the front lines had only received two buckets of carrots and a bag of onions from the government instead of money promised. Просто, понимаешь, мне правду никто не скажет, понимаешь, Фархат. Им выгодно, чтобы он был там без вести пропавшим. Или там э, говорить мне, что он живой, чистится в СВО. Тут из меня дурачка делают, чистится на СВО. И все, больше ничего они мне не говорят, Фархат. А я ж понимаю, для чего они это говорят. И почему они это говорят. Чтобы не выплачивать.